I like how the new cement mixer actually turns when it's working. That's a nice little addition right there. Okay, let me grab some cement mix out of here, and we're going to use that to start upgrading the hallway. What's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Zomlandia. It is the morning of day 11, and I know what I'm going to do with the base. I'm going to bring it up onto the rooftop, and to do that, we have to get rid of these two blocks here. And then we'll have plenty of room to work with up here. The biggest problem we're going to face is cops and demolishers blowing up, putting a hole in the rooftop, and then all the zombies falling down into the bank. So we're going to have to try and prevent that from happening. I did knock a hole in the hallway roof and put the ladder in, so that's all set. We should probably make sure that's going to work. I'm sure it is. Hey, lady, come here. Why don't you come do me a favor real quick? Make sure this works before I go any further. I'm sure it will, but it's worth testing before I put any more work in. Come on, get through those double pulls. She's faced double pulls before, I could tell. She's that type of lady. Down she goes. Okay, that's gonna work just fine. Let's do a little upgrading now. Now well, that's it for the concrete mix. I got more working, so we'll upgrade more later. Let's spend these skill points before we leave. I've got two of them. I'm gonna put another one into Miner 69er and another one into Motherload. All right, let's go see Jen. Morning, big boy. Such a nice town. What's up, Jen? You again. Who else would it be? I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. You sticking with this doctor thing, huh? Even though you got a shit degree? Southern Health Institute of Texas. The acronym is literally SHIT, Jen. Plus, I saw it hanging on the wall in the radio station. Nah, yeah, whatever. I'll play pretend with you. Infested Clear. She's got a couple of them that are close by, but... I'm not a fan of these right now, because they send you to a lower tier POI, and I don't want to do a tier 2 POI. I want to do a tier 3. I wish they didn't do that. I would much prefer the infested job stay within the tier that you're already in. Just make that tier a bit more difficult. Hey, why'd the deer cross the road? It never did. I mean, it almost did, but then I murdered it. I don't understand how some people have trouble with food in this game. It's so easy. Just murder everything. I mean, if you, what are you, an animal lover? It's just a game. You can kill them all, and, and it's fine. They're not real. I was, I was playing Minecraft with my niece one time. She was like, you know, you can't murder any of the cute little animals. I was like, sweetheart, I'm murdering all of the animals. <laughs> Unky's got to eat, you know what I'm saying? And then I told her I wasn't starting a fucking farm either. Why would I do that? This ain't farm simulator. I want to go explore a mine, and I got to bring steaks with me. And then she didn't say anything after that, because she left around the time I said I was going to kill all the animals. This is where we start. We got a torch here, so this is the way to go. And uh, right in here, that's right. I know where I'm going. We have to try not to fall and go up this ladder here. And I'm going to take this chandelier apart. Let's see if we still get steel from it. Hey, there's a piece. Good. Can still get steel from chandeliers. Here we go. Wake up, shithead. It's murder in time. Hey. Motherfucker. Got a Knuckles crafting magazine, a baseball bat, which I'll scrap. Scrap the bolts. Uh, we still got a zombie above us. Probably stuck on something. I don't know what it's doing up there. Probably the last one also. Which we're going to have to finish it off because that's the point of this mission. Oh, treasure map. Let's read that now. 
That's to the southeast, and it looks like it's close by. Let's go get our reward for this job. Maybe we'll do one more job, and then treasure chest? That seems like a productive day. Don't spend it all in one place. But if you do, make sure it's here. Shut up, Jen. Forge steel, I guess. And it's the most valuable. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I got a few things to sell here. Her inventory restocks on day 13. Um, <laughs> so I'm not interested in buying anything. Here's a close clear zombies. Let's do that. The Gully Residence. Another big house. I guess we're starting in the basement here. You know, Jen has a restore power job. So I'm thinking we get this job done. We go get our reward, pick up the restore power job, and then go get the treasure. And then, son of a bitch. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, trying to distract me with shiny things. That's pretty cool, though. Look at that cold beer neon sign. What do we get for uh, smashing it? Glass. That makes sense. God damn it! I heard a zombie. Oop, another one hiding right behind the door. Oh, shit. I guess that was the one I heard. It was behind me. Oh, shit. Oh, swing and a miss. Well, every swing can't be a home run, you know? It's just the way the game goes. Might as well grab all this nitrate powder. I was thinking we should probably start mining nitrate powder and coal, even though we don't have a chem station yet. It's not a bad idea to get a jump start on those materials now. This way, when we do get a chem station put down, we can immediately start crafting a whole bunch of gunpowder. Oh, that's a mine. Shit, that's why I can't pick it up. Got a little too close to that thing. Could have ended poorly. Oh, I love me some Molotovs, but double barrel shotgun, I think that's the way we gotta go. Got a good amount of shotgun ammo at home and nothing to use it in, so now we got something. Uh, we're gonna take the uh, restore power job, like you could handle. Hurry back soon. and we're we'll gonna stop nice home, and then we're gonna go get this treasure, and then we're gonna restore some power tonight. What a productive damn day, huh? Here we are. There was no reason to stop home right now. We've got plenty of inventory space. We'll stop home once we're done here. Let's go for uh, the southwest corner, right? Or at least close to it. That's where uh, it used to be all the time, right? Southwest, I think. What the hell? Might as well try it. If we can get this quickly... Then uh, we can get some base work done while we wait for um, the job to activate. And I drove past it. It's the Working Stiff Tools right across the street from our house. So that's pretty sweet. Doesn't get uh, any closer than that. We can literally walk there. Holy shit, here it is. Oh, man, that's like a fucking record. Pretty sweet.
Just shove all this crap in here for now. I'll get it organized later. This is like my junk drawer. Everybody needs a junk drawer. You can't be expected to organize your shit all the time. You know, sometimes you just gotta fucking throw it all in there and close it. Deal with it later. Ah, oh, there's a plate in front of that block. I gotta break that too, then. Unless it falls once I break this block. Probably not, because there's one to the side of it. Which will hold it up. Whatever, we'll get it done. If I can't get all these blocks broken by nightfall, we'll get it done this evening. I mean, like I was saying, the restore power job is literally right across the street. So, that'll save us some time. Oh, damn it. Alright, I think that was the solution. Now, when zombies climb up the ladder, we can leave this plate here and they'll get stuck on it. Uh, but when they fall, they might just start attacking these blocks here. And that wouldn't be good. They'll just make a mess. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, now I think we knock this plate out too, then build a little archway and just let the zombies up on the rooftop instead of trying to fight them here at the ladder, which can cause all sorts of problems. Zombies fall off the ladder, they start attacking these blocks and shit, it becomes a mess. Instead, I say, we just let them up and we'll figure out how to deal with them once they're up here. We could extend the hallway, but switch it up a bit, add in obstacles and put in traps and shit. Could be fun. Could work. I mean, I'm sure it will work if we don't do anything too drastic. We know hallways work. Will also allow us to use a lot of melee. So we're not just ripping through ammo. Which I don't mind ripping through ammo. But then you got to do a lot of mining. A lot of resource grinding. So you can keep the ammo supply flowing. And in this series, I was trying to focus less on grinding and more on exploration, since it is our first series in the new alpha. There's another one around here somewhere. Ah, there she is. Half-eaten sandwich, and this motherfucker's late to the party. Guess we'll start on this side of the store. Lockpick. I'll scrap the pipe. And craft more in the forge. Let's pop this door open. Whoop. Oh, look at him. He's so peaceful having a little nappy nap time. Skinny pee! There should be another one up there. There we go. Level one iron spear, no thanks. You know, though, I was thinking, if I get my hands on a good spear, either a good iron or, better yet, a good steel spear, I'll hold on to it. Because the forgotten elixir is a lot cheaper in this alpha. And I think I know why they did that. It makes sense. Because in the beginning, you want to put points into perks that are going to get you the books that you need. The vehicle books, the workstation books. But once you get the vehicle you want, and the workstations you need, you don't really fucking need the points in them anymore. Well, maybe advanced engineering, because that does make crafting quicker, you know? But you definitely don't need points in Grease Monkey anymore. So once we get a motorcycle, and we get the chem station put down, I'm thinking we use a forgetting elixir, and we respec our points. And maybe instead of going Skull Crusher again, I'll lean towards the spear and we'll give that a try. Find a lot of lockpicks in tool stores now, which uh, I'm not mad at. I like that, especially early game when you need them. You know, I always thought it would be cool to have a little mini game for lockpicking, like Skyrim and Fallout and many other games do, for that matter. But then again, with seven days to die, it's a little different. Lockpicking becomes pretty pointless after a while. Once you have good enough tools, you can get into any safe relatively quickly. Whoop. Get out of here. Is bathroom clear? Looks that way. Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. 
We got a working vending machine. Oh, sugar butts. I don't have my coin on me, but we can just run right across the street and get it. Come back here and buy that. Was there a working vending machine here before? I don't think so, because I think I would have remembered that. But now we have one, so that's pretty cool. We can always run right across the street and check that shit. Even though I really haven't been very concerned with the candies uh, in this alpha. You know, I haven't even seen eye candy. I could give a shit about any of that. The sugar butts I'll use if I can get my hands on it. Um, and the oh shit candy is still great. I don't know if they nerf that at all. Um, so as far as I know, you could take that shit and jump off the Dishong Tower and be fine. Come here, Skinny Pete. There he goes. Shut this valve off here, and that will turn the fire off so we can get up on the rooftop. Let's wake this stripper up in the most immature way possible. Right in the ass. Oh, one in the back and one in the front. That's all she can handle. Props to her, though, because that's two more than I can handle. One bone, no thanks. We got a destroyed dew collector here. If you want to get the most out of this thing, search it first, but don't pull the loot out. If you want to read that book, put something shitty in there, like that. Then you can read the book. Leave something in there, though, and then it won't disappear. And then you can uh, harvest it for the materials, and it will drop a backpack. If you harvest it first without searching it, then it won't drop a backpack for whatever reason, and you'll lose whatever loot was inside. Shit. Ah, oh, no stamina. Look at that. Double barrel coming in handy. Now the workstation book, that didn't do it. I haven't checked to see how many we need to unlock the chem station. I want to be surprised. There's a ammo pile down here. There's going to be a zombie also. Yep. See you later, buddy. Here we go. Nice. Now let's backpedal. Because there's a weapons bag over here. Handgun crafting and a couple of baton parts. And we already got the loot in this room. Now for the generator. Which is back here. Oh, is it the big generator? It's got to be. I didn't see a small one. Oh, it certainly is. Well, it's nice that they put these giant generators to use. These things are in a lot of different POIs, which means they can all be restore power job POIs now. That's good. Boom. Done. We got to go talk to Jen in the morning and we'll get our reward. Man, nice productive day. Did uh, three jobs. Got a treasure. Looking good. We know where our base is headed, sort of. It's a shame we had to abandon the, um... The idea I had with bringing them down into the basement, but I think we're better off on the rooftop. Except for if they blow a hole in the rooftop, which I said this morning, that's going to be our biggest issue. But you know, as long as I give the zombies a way back up from inside the bank... Shouldn't be that big of a problem. So I'll figure it out. One day at a time. That's all we can do. Got a lot of loot to get organized tonight. Uh, we got some concrete mix and sand in here. We could do some more upgrading. If not tonight, then in the morning. Let's throw this mushroom spore on the wall. 
And we are looking good. Let's eat and drink. And then, like I said, we'll get all this loot organized and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 12. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Zomlandia and I will catch you guys in the next episode.